Over. Mumbles is in there first. Hey, little baby bird. Oh yeah, as you say it. All right, ducks, you ready to go outside? I got Echo Pup blocked off, but all the chickens out there eating some scratch grain. Pigs are good. I'm gonna push these ducks outside. You got it, Docs. You got it. Right. <clears throat> Good, Mumbles. Got them all fenced in here, right outside. Echo, you're still trapped, huh, bud? Go in. Over. I eat, I eat. All right, ducks, that was easy. All right, just gotta get them some water so they can get all cleaned up. That was a lot easier getting the ducks out of here than it was the first time getting the chickens out. The chickens did not want to walk forward. That's, that was horrible, but the ducks all just ran for it. So, working out well. So this is working out well. We have the chickens out here in the day pen. You can see they got free range of this whole area here. They're trying to find places to lay eggs right now. We also have the pigs in the pig pen. Doing good, we got Zeus getting bigger every day. And we got a little pig, hey little pig. Happy pig and shy pig over there. They just got their afternoon snack. And now we have ducks on the other side in their new Little makeshift pen for right now. I can't let the water go too long. Perfect. What are you doing, girl? Get out of here, Regina. Good drink. No? Not thirsty? Yeah, they got some fresh water. Get all cleaned up. Mumbles is in there first. Me. Me. Out. Puppy. All right, fine. Come here. Puppy hasn't really played with the ducks much. Zeet. Zeet. And that's just because the ducks are terrified and just run, run away really fast. So I don't want to scare the ducks too much. Just letting puppy get in here and uh, warm up to him a little bit. Echo has been pretty bad every time I take him in and out in that tote. I've been carrying Zeke. Come here, you're too close. Come here, back up, Zeke. So I'm trying to get him better with the ducks and the goose because he's been pretty bad compared to the chickens and the turkey. He's, uh, I don't know, he's just been loud. He's just been really loud with the ducks. They quack really loud and he barks really loud and it's annoying. So you can see in the background, I'm getting the A-frame duck house started. Me and my dad are working on that. getting it 
<laughs> up and running before we can move these ducks out to it. But for now, they're living in the barn brooder, and I've been able to now just bring them out here so they can get some outside time, forage in the grass, get cleaned up in some water without making a terrible mess in the brooder, which they already have, huh, puppy? <laughs> hey, little baby bird. You just came out of the nest, didn't you? Hey, bud, I need the pencil. Ugh. Thanks, buddy. So I'm in the duck house right now, and I got the floor in. We got this laminate floor, and it's all one roll. Glued it in around the perimeter, and in the middle a little bit. So now I'm going around and stapling some nails. Pounding them in, and then bending them sideways so that they really hold down, have a nice uh, thick top to them. Hold in place in case any shifting goes around or the glue wears away. They have another fastener holding them in place. And I'm also taking this flashing that we have left over from the carports. And it's just this channel. Putting it over the edge of the laminate and the plywood. So you can see it's just J channel. But we have this exposed edge. And I figure since we have this stuff, I'll just fit it right over top of it i gotta measure and cut this one yet but i'm just sliding them in nailing them on and that way any of the water can glance right off of it just like it would your house and not rot away my floor too much it's pretty warm in here but we're supposed to get some rain later they call for rain and it just never comes here it just gets dark i mowed everything i'm ready for the rain but uh I'm trying to get this duck coop done so that the ducks have somewhere to go inside out of the weather. Right now they're in the uh, barn brooder and I uh, made a little pen set up. You saw that they're in and outside getting some water, cleaning up, enjoying the fresh air. But I want to finish off this A-frame. You can see that I put a window in there with some uh, translucent plexi. It's corrugated like the metal so it fits right in there. We got to trim this piece of metal down a little bit yet because just took some wrong measurements but we'll get that fixed up I'm getting this floor pretty much done and in place so that we can put on the outside walls let me get out how you doing buddy so the a-frame's about done we do have a ridge cap left over from all the metals that we have all this red metal is actually cover sheets so whenever you order metal like this for a building it comes with a red cover sheet, or at least ours did, to protect all your uh, actual metal that you ordered. So these sheets are all bonus sheets, so free sheets that we got from ordering other metal for other projects. So I really didn't have to buy anything. Plus I think I have enough of this red metal to not only do the duck house, but to also match the red barn. We're going to be doing the chicken coop with the red metal as well. And then I'm going to have a pig hut slash uh, turkey roost. I don't know which one it's going to be used for first, but I'm going to have another structure for the pigs or the turkey, some type of animal for another enclosure out here as well. So we have plenty of this red metal that I can make some matching structures around. And I'll be painting some of the barn features to make them white. And we'll have all red and white structures out here in the barn all matching. And it'll be looking nice and clean up here. How you doing, Mumbles? You're trying to get your wings flowing, buddy. Yeah, you're getting big, bud. You're getting big, Mumbles. The ducks are real loud. I'm switching out their water. But they make it so messy real quick. They don't really need much. This fence isn't even secured. It has one stake in it, kind of on an angle that's not really even in the ground. And then the other side, they could probably hop up over that wall, but they just don't. They're content with hanging out together. They're just happy being outside. As long as puppy doesn't bother them too much. Hey, buddy. Yeah, the duck house is coming along. I got the front J channel already on. And I think it's going to work out really well. We're going to be putting in doors that go up to about here. They're just going to be set in doors and then I'll latch them. And then I need to make a window. I'm thinking about putting a round window in here. I think it'll look good with the triangle shape. And I'll put a white window, white ridge, and we have the white uh, J channel there. So I think it's going to look pretty sharp whenever we're done. Oh, huh, buddy. Oh, huh, buddy.
seeing baby birds around the property. Look at that little baby. Little baby bird and I think a brother or sister just ran into the bottom of the rhododendron in there. They're not really flying yet. Just skittering around. A little bird. <laughs> yeah, just barely flying. You leave that bird alone, puppy. Oh, yep, the other one's in there. I don't know if I can see him. Just hop through. Buddy. Buddy. I know puppy's not going to bother him. Just chase him around a little bit. Becca, where is it? Buddy, I just keep missing it. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Don't bite. Poppy. All right, all right. And I just stepped on one of my eggs. The girls are laying in the middle of the floor and Echo had to clean it up because I didn't see it and stepped on it. They're not really using the nesting boxes yet. I think they're kind of too small. Plus, I just introduced them. But, yeah, unfortunately, I was looking for some eggs underneath there, and they was right in the middle of the floor, and I stepped on it. Really need to get my chicken coop done so the chickens actually have a place to lay eggs, and I can collect them in the same spot instead of having Easter egg hunts throughout the day. Threw the egg show into the pigs. Looks like Zeus is sniffing it out. He's never had an egg before. Oh yeah. Zeus is going for it. Ain't happy. Yeah, happy. You got your tail wagging. Oh yeah, Zeus ate it. Sorry girls, at least nothing's going to waste. You gotta let me know when you lay eggs next time. You lay any outside? Come on, ducks. Mumbles, what are you doing out there? It's pouring, Mumbles. You gotta get back in here, bud. Come on, Mumbles. Come on. Come on, ducks. Let's go. Come on, ducks. Come on, ducks. Oh, you're not, you're not actually following me. Come on, ducks. Come on, ducks. Inside, inside, ducks. Inside, inside, ducks. Inside, inside, ducks. Come on, come on. Everybody in. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. No, Mumbles. You're staying in. Come on. Back in your pen. Get in there. Get in there. Come on, ducks. Come on, ducks. Come on, ducks. All right, I'll close this door, I guess. All right, ducks. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, they're so much nicer to herd than chickens. Huh, oh, puppy? Huh, oh, bud? All the chickens know to get out of the rain. Yeah, checking in. Got Green Queen up here in her spot. If you can hear me over the ducks. Give the ducks some fresh bedding. Because that half of there is brutal. If you can see that half of their brooder area, separated by a 4x4, four four, is flooded. The water came in the ba uh, the barn wall there and it's flooded. Got a little bit of wetness in here on the chick side. The whole center of the barn got flooded. I just shoveled it up, cleaned it up, but the whole center was flooded out there. And of course the pigs. Of 
course the pigs are flooded, but part of that was them spilling their water bowl. They're gonna be all right though. They got their bathroom side all cleaned up, fresh layer over there. They're eating their dinner and they're happy little pigs. Poppy, what are you doing? Green queen up in her spot. Ducks having fun in the water. Look at Mumbles. Loving it in there. But hey, they're ducks. So they're gonna handle it just fine. I got them a dry area. Hopefully they can keep it dry. Come on, pup. Whoa, they're just flying at you, buddy. Regina dive bombing you. Where's she going? Regina, you gotta get back inside. Regina, where do you think you're going? Get back. Regina. Life. Life. Okay. Okay. Get her back in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't get ahead of her. Becca, you got ahead of her. Come here. All right, there you go, bud. All right, all right, Echo, you out. Echo, Echo, out. Okay, we're gonna close this up, these girls up. All right, Green Queen, I'll shut the light off. Got the Ryobi battery lights. All right, that's it. Oh, the duck saw shadow. The duck saw shadow, gotta shut it off. So the turkey are out today. They're in their little day pen. It's this makeshift box that I used to be a hoop house for my pumpkin. Then I just wrapped all my extra fencing around it to hold them in. It obviously has openings they can get out. It's only for when they're young like this. So maybe just a week or so, I'll be bringing them in and out of the shed over there to this area so they can get some time outside. They got their water, they got their feeder, and they also got a little box that I take them in and out with. I threw some sunflower leaves and a rock on there just to give them some shade so it doesn't get too hot in there. But they can also get in there out of the wind and out of any predators or whenever they're feeling scared, they can go in there, huddle together. But they are hungry this morning, so they're crushing that food right now. And if puppy would stop chasing them around, it'd be a nice cozy little uh, setup here for them. Hey bud, you gotta protect this flock. Yeah, this is what the turkeys are getting for about a week until I can get them moved up into the barn once the duck house is done. That's not okay. Knee. All right, duck. Knee. Right. Life, life. Oh, Me, Rev, Rev. What's up? Come on, Mumbles. Mumbles, come on, bud. This way. Come. 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 Good boy, good boy. Almost. Come.
up. They, and the ducks got their own pen and the chickens got the other pen. All right, so I am out here building the duck house. My dad's been helping me a lot with the cut and the metal, but right now I'm on my own doing some finishing touches. So we're gonna go over how far along we are. So my dad's helped me a lot with cutting the metal, but right now he is taking a break. So I'm doing a lot of the finishing touches. We got the door made. We got the A-frame done with the window in there. I got all the screws tightened up in here. Ooh. I got all the screws switched out to shorter screws because they were sticking through the board too far. And uh, like this one, not too bad, but the other ones are sticking about an inch more. So I got them all switched out to the smaller screws and it's looking tight. We got the back done, got the screen in the top there for airflow and ventilation. Back's all solid and screwed in. And then I plugged in these. Poppy, do we have chickens on the outside of the fence? Yeah, get them back inside, puppy. Come on, girls. Come on, girls, back this way. Back this way. Okay, good boy, good boy. Out, come on. Fence fell over. They don't really need a lot of protection, it's just a day pen. They're actually not even supposed to be in here, but they keep following me over, or coming over here whenever I'm doing work on the duck house. So we'll just leave that go. Huh, pup? You keep an eye on the chickens. Yeah, this is coming together really well. So once I put the metal backing on, we had a lot of gaps here along the A-frame. So I put some furring strips in between the lateral furring strips. I put some vertical furring strips just to close all that off so nothing can get in. And it's looking pretty tight. I'm not really a carpenter. I like building just by eye and hopefully it comes out right. I don't really enjoy building with a lot of measurements and perfection. What is going on out here, puppy? Echo, echo. Quit chasing them further. Zit. Life. Just hang out with them, pup. So I really don't like building with a lot of precision. Doing it perfect cuts and squares and fitting everything tight just isn't fun for me. So whenever I build, there's a little bit of whimsy or a little bit of, uh, I got circle. It's not perfect, which I like that because that looks like I did it instead of just buying something off the shelf. I like having a little bit of character in the things I build. So I think this duck house is coming along great. Let me throw the door on and we'll see it all together. So I built this duck house as an A-frame and this is its open setting where I would be able to get in there and clean everything out. And then I have those blocks in there. So this door, I'm gonna get some handles and put on this door, but I just haven't done it yet. So those blocks are gonna hold the door in right like that. And then the door falls in place, perfectly in place, right like that. So that's what the A-frame duck house is looking like. I think it's looking really nice. We got the uh, 14 inch high by 12 inch wide door for the ducks and goose to get in and out of there. I wanted the 14 inches just cause I have a goose and uh, he's a little big. A mumbles. You think you'll fit over here? But the red metal siding is gonna match from the duck house to the chicken coop, to the pig hut or the turkey roost, whichever one I build first. But we're gonna have the red metal and the red barn all matching out here and it's gonna look really nice when we're done. Puppy, what is going on with these chickens, bud? Get these chickens back inside. What are you doing, girls? Come on, come on, come on, ladies. No, don't do, don't do your crouching thing, just keep walking. Yeah, just keep walking. Get back inside. Puppy, don't cut them off. Over here. Not you, chickens. You go back that way. All right, you just hang out. You can stay out here. To finish this duck coop up though, I do need a helping hand. This is the ridge vent, which is going to go on the top of the A-frame and keep all the water from coming straight in through the top here. So it's gonna cover all those gaps up there. I'm gonna have it hang over about six inches off this backside to keep some of the rain out of the vent here. And then I really like the look of barns that have the big A-frame like peak I don't know what it would be called. If you know, put it in the comments down below. But one of those large peaks that come off the top of the A-frame. So I'm gonna be building it out. The cap, it, the ridge vent cap is going to be sticking out about 18 inches here. And then it'll angle back down. So you'll see it whenever we finish this thing up. But that's my idea for the ridge vent. And I need a hand holding that up there straight while I screw it in. 
So I'll have to wait on that, but we made a lot of progress today. My buddy. What are you what are you looking at? <laughs>